through the deception of Satan. So Christ Jesus had to come and die on the cross to die the death that God said to Adam and Eve, if you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you will surely die. Jesus was in that grave for three days. And on the third day, Christ Jesus was risen from the dead. The resurrection of Jesus from the dead is the resurrection of that relationship humanity once had with God there in the Garden of Eden. The resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. God bless you, sir. Is the resurrection of that spiritual death that humanity died in the Garden of Eden. Every single one of us were well, when Adam and Eve when that happened. God oh, bless you. God oh, bless you. Every single one of us we were in Adam and Eve. When Satan deceived Adam and Eve, you and I inherited that deception. When Adam and Eve died the spiritual death that they died in the Garden of Eden, you and I inherited that spiritual death because we were with Adam and Eve. When the eyes of Adam and Eve were opened and they saw that they were naked and their conscience began to accuse and to condemn them, you and I inherited that guilt of sin because we were in Adam and Eve. When Adam and Eve ran away from, the, from God and went and hid themselves among the trees of the garden, you and I inherited that habit of running away from the love of God. And most of us are still running away from the love of God. Whatever excuse you have for not accepting and receiving the relationship that God has for you and with Him. That's how you're running. Some run away from the love of God and they run to the Pope. Some run away from the love of God. They run to sports and, and entertainment. All kinds of reasons. But you're not the first. You only inherited that from Adam and Eve. Because when Adam and Eve heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the cool of the day, they ran and hide and hid. When God sent Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden, you and I were also sent out of the Garden of Eden because Adam and Eve were pregnant with the, with the entire human race at that time. This is exactly why Jesus Christ was led out of the city. And they led Jesus out of the city. And they crucified him out of that city. Jesus Christ went out of the city of God so you could come in. Jesus went out of the city of God so you could come into the presence of God. Because when Jesus was on that cross on that day, God took all of your sins and placed them on Jesus. And he took all of the righteousness and the holiness of Jesus and placed it on you. The day you believe in the Lord Jesus and confess that Jesus is the Son of God, that day is the day you are adopted into the family of God, is the day you become a child of God, is the day God gives you the power to become a child of God. The day you believe in your heart 
and confess that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, the relationship that died in the Garden of Eden, God brings it back to life. That's what the blood of Jesus Christ did for you. The blood of Jesus Christ was shed for you so you could come back into the presence of God. The blood of Jesus Christ was shed for you so you could come into fellowship with God. The blood of Jesus Christ was shed for you so you could come back into the family and the fold of God. The word of God says that if you believe with your own mouth and confess, if you believe with your own heart and confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, that Jesus is the Son of the living God and that He died for your sins, you will be saved. You will be saved from yourself because humanity left to itself, we can see how self-destructive self we've become. You will be saved from the power of sin because the things that you'd rather do, you have, got, you have no power to do those things. But the things that you don't want to do are the things you find yourself doing. You will be saved from the power of Satan. Satan is not a figment of your imagination. He's a real character. And Satan hates you because every time the devil looks at you, he sees the image of God. Every time Satan looks at you, he's reminded of the one that kicked him out of heaven with lightning speed. That's why Satan hates you. And you'll be saved from the system of the world because this world is doomed for hell. So as you're listening, as you can hear me, if you're walking past and you're listening, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ into your hearing. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ to you. That is, you hear the gospel message. You hear the gospel message with the hearing of faith. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ to the very foundations of the town of Oldham for mass evangelism. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ into the atmosphere above Oldham for the pulling down of demonic principalities and powers and strongholds. I speak the blood of Jesus into every house in Oldham for the triumphant entry of the word of God into the homes of the people of Oldham. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ into the homes of the people of Oldham for the peace of God to rule and reign in the homes of the people of Oldham. Because peace and quiet is rare, is rare these days. Depression, anxiety, suicide, self-harm, low self-esteem, all, all that. Eating away at the soul of humanity today. But I speak the blood of Jesus Christ to you. That as you hear the gospel message, you hear with a hearing of faith. In Jesus' name. 